Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have two new icons. Today we have Roberto Carlos and Hernandez as well as a gameplay objective card. Uh, so with Roberto Carlos, I might use him in a team if I'm allowed to for the milestone objective. If I'm not, then I'll try to do him in Division Rivals and then just get the milestone objective card uh, afterwards. I think it's a milestone card, right? Because it's the purple one. It's a defrail card. So we'll see what's up with that. But for now, uh, we're going to go ahead and review the Hernandez card first, right? So we're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, three star weak foot with player traits. He has power header traits and outside foot shot traits, in game attributes. So the dribbling on the card is low ish, but the thing is, right, is that with him, he does have a five foot nine height with an average body type. I feel like this is a type of card where you just work with the dribbling stats as it is, because with Correa, you guys know I like Correa a lot in this game, right? The one thing that Correa lacks is in the dribbling department, right? So the thing about him is that he's kind of like in the mid 80s, high 80s area. It's just the composure at 76, right? So you kind of like notice these things. He's also smaller, which compensates more for dribbling, right? So. I want to see what Hernandez plays like on a Hawk. I'm giving him a Hawk because of the shot power boost. I know that some people uh, give him the Hunter chemistry style. Sentinel, I think, is just a meme. But a Hawk chemistry style definitely looks really cool because, look, on a Hunter, you get a plus five for shot power, right? On a Hawk, you get the long shots, you get the shot power. Shot power with finishing is pretty nice. Uh, I guess the unfortunate thing with him is obviously the three star, three star weak foot. So it is a card that you mainly want to use in like probably like a secondary striker position on the right striker area as much as possible. But here's the thing, though, man, this card is also high medium with 94 attacking positioning on a Hawk chemistry saw. And I really like high medium this year. Like it's probably my favorite work rate. Um, I used to like high lows a lot in previous FIFAs, but like this year it's high medium and high medium is awesome uh, for the main attacking positions like the striker area. Obviously, obviously, if it's like left mid, right mid. Uh, high highs are usually really nice, but uh, base card stats are passing. Not really high on this card. He's a striker, not a big deal, but it's always nice to have, obviously. Uh, dribbling on the card, we will be experimenting with in-game because of the average body type. 91 heading accuracy is cool. On a Hawk, he's also going to have 98 jumping, so if we do get a crossing opportunity, we could try, but it's not really like a huge play style of mine. And then he's also going to have 71 aggression to work with the pace as well, which should be decent to work with. So... The way that we're going to be lined up in game with Hernandez will be in the 4-4-2. I was about to say, I'm like, this is already lined up for me. Wow. Ben Yetter. Oh, let's put Draxler there. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm down for that. Uh, Nkunku and Shomane. Yeah. Draxler, Draxler is like a cool card, man. I enjoy using him for what it is. Not bad with a shadow in the center mid area, yeah? it's one of the one of the things you could definitely do with him. But um, yeah, we'll try him out, man. We'll see if this card's any good. Oh, on a green time, you missed that? No way! Dang, I was like, you know what? Maybe on a finesse shot, he's gonna he's gonna sweep this ball. No chance. Come on. Okay. Listen, again, when you get close to the goalkeeper. Oh, wow. Four, what is this? Is this? Oh, it's because it's a 4 4 2. I was about to say, I don't know where. Uh, I was like wondering. I was like, where is this guy positioned right now? It's ultra attacking for this, this account. I always forget. Oh, okay. So weak foot strike. And you get close to the goalkeeper, ball roll touch, guys, every time. But for the reviews, we'll we'll take the strike just to see what it's like. Let me switch back to the uh for four two, my friend. Oi, let's go. Let's go. You know what's really funny? Uh, so obviously I still have like gameplay that's like real, a little bit rough, obviously, because it's the daytime. But my gameplay doesn't have delay today for the first time in like two weeks. What are the odds? I make the video and today like it's like, oh, yeah, you could play today. Sure. Why not? Oh, 
Oh, it's true, Monet there. <laughs> I was trying to get it to Hernandez. Couldn't get it though. He actually did well there, to be fair. Bounce pass? No, the interception. No timing on that shot there. Oh, there's no chance. Oh. Uh, listen, man, I didn't I didn't I, I didn't even know what was going on. I was like, you know what? Hopefully he's well positioned for this bad boy. <laughs> I tried it, man. That would have been a really good play, actually. Should have done some extra stuff though to be fair definitely should have oh that pressure though guys a pressure tactics is like massive in fifa nowadays like after this patch holy every single person plays pressure tactics we got it we got it thank goodness mars got into a good position right there Whew. I have to do a little bit of fakey fakes, you know? Wow, I actually like don't have like crazy delay today. This is like literally the first time in two weeks. I make a video and now that's gone? Interesting. <laughs> what are the odds? It's not like they did anything. It's just, oh man. Gameplay's still rough, but hey man, I'll take no delay. Oh, it was starting to annoy me, I'll tell you that much. with the weak foot okay okay gets into a position great little finish with the weak foot i'll take it i'll take it he's got he's got the demon fakir you know what i don't mind the new meta of pressure tactics i just wish that the attacking ai when the pressure tactics are being used is better because they literally like they don't move properly, man. It's like it breaks it. It's very strange. I don't know what's happening. Oh, I had you when you get close to the goalkeeper, you got to time some sort of like left stick dribble or shot cancel or something to score that opportunity a oh, fake shot no i try to go like back back you know touch oh and i greened it too eh oh he was lucky bro i greened a regular finish guys i am one with the rats oh you know what's funny is that I knew that the near post wasn't going to work there, so I was like, I'm going to try to go far post. Unfortunately, I don't think it registered after I've seen the uh, the movement. Flick. Flick. Oh, sometimes the flicks would get you uh, the ball, eh? A little roulette. There we go. A little ball roll touch. Yeah, I wish. I wish they gave you that angle, man. I really... I really wish they did it. It would be a warranted goal, you know, but it's just not one of the FIFA finishes in this game. Like you have to go for a ball roll or a shot cancel against that. Oh, so the first time I'm actually enjoying playing FIFA in two weeks. Like the gameplay's still rough, but at least I don't have like crazy delay. You know, at least I asked for. Oh, we timed that one. Nice. Let's go. Oh, no, I. I, that one I don't blame too much. When the ball's in the air, they have that like animation where it's like they do flick it. And I did do a flick skill move to do something else, not a hold. I hate it when it's like a hold. He gets destroyed right there. The dribbling, I, I had a feeling he was going to perform the way that he does. Uh, it's not like a huge deal, to be honest, because of the way that dribbling works in general in this game, but obviously. Well, Hernandez. Oh, I wish I like registered to him. Um, yeah, it can be like a nuisance from time to time, but 
it's not like you're going to give him any other chemistry style because you have to give him like the attacking positioning boost and stuff like it's kind of like unfair not to in a way if that makes sense i see you hernandez look at this for a pass l trigger shield and hope for the best no his high medium is a, a good work rate to work with. I'm just not like a crazy fan of it, to be honest. Um, it's not like Korea high medium. <laughs> Korea's high medium is so good, dude. I'm sorry. I'm a. I'm a. Oh, I gotta be a rat, boys. I gotta be a rat. I gotta get those green times in, you know. <laughs> By the way, you're not ratty if you green time. I just, you know, it's just a sweaty thing because most people will just like shoot normally. First time without greening. There it is. We scored that because the goalie does the animation where he kind of like dives and gives him that space. You know what I'm saying? That happens a lot from 45. So if you get like a 45 degree angle like I did there with Hernandez, you can shoot it first time and you'll you'll actually get that animation sometimes. So it's worth going for the first time strike. Oh, the defensive play. Pass it off. Can you make that run? Okay, okay. I have to go for Legrand switch here. Look at that. Bang. Oh. I mean, you know what? He did hit a Heskey there, but that's a really rough angle to shoot from. He actually gave me the net there. He's like, I don't believe you scored this. Okay. Love that. Love that, Chuamane. He made up for it, boys. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new SPC Hernandez card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, uh, it is the type of card where you just have to use the dribbling base stats for what it is, right? So uh, because here's the thing. If you don't give him a Hunter chemistry style or a Hawk chemistry style, you can't really fully utilize the card, in my opinion, right? So it definitely makes the most sense to make sure that you give one or the other. There's definitely no right or wrong option for it. Uh, a Hunter would be great because of the extra sprint speed, the extra acceleration, as well as some shooting boost. But the Hawk chemistry style is also nice because it gives him that little bit of physical boost, which is very, very cool to work with, right? I don't think he has like a special high medium, but it's still good for the meta of the game for sure. Like Correa's high medium is just chef's kiss. It's him and Fakir, like those guys up top, like whew, super nice to work with, right? But it's still very, very good. He still makes very solid runs. Like I said to you guys, high medium work rate is a really nice work rate to work with nowadays, okay? But the dribbling stats, you do notice, obviously, because of the fact that he is an average body type player, but you just work with it as much as possible. Maybe if his balance was at an 88 or something, I wouldn't mind it as much, but maybe that's what's like causing it a little bit to be weird, but it's not terrible by any means right it's just something that you work with it's the same thing with me using the Korea card and his dribbling is annoying from some like from time to time as well but I still use him because he's pretty cool for what it is right uh let's see the SBC price I am curious to see this SBC price for Hernandez is not even completed yet 133k for one. Oh, so what's he on the market on the market he's 390k 390k? He's not a 390k card, I wouldn't say. Yeah. If if the SBC is like 300 ish K, it's one of those SBCs that you unlock because you like Hernandez. There's like some sentiment towards him because he is meta enough in the gameplay, so you can do well with him. He's not like a crazy card, obviously. Um, so it's just one of those SBCs that you complete that there is some sort of sentimental value towards him. It's not gonna be like be a card that like blows your mind. Um, I think with Roberto Carlos, however, this card as an SBC is like is something that people may want to look at because, yeah, I might I might actually have to do the review for him because he actually looks pretty solid. It's the links, right, that you work with the most. With Hernandez, if he had like a four star weak foot, maybe a little bit of an extra bounce, it'd be a cool card, I think. Because on a Hawk chemistry style, he has the right stuff: pace, shooting, physicality is there. Passing, obviously, not crazy, right? Dribbling is still something that you can work with for sure. But the SBC is definitely more if you want to unlock him to uh, use him for fun. But it's fun. But like like I said, he's, he's still like meta enough in the gameplay, of course. On a Hawk chemistry style, like you could definitely still do work with him. 
for sure. Maybe if you had like more shooting traits too, like if you had like the finesse shot trait, that would have been sick to work with as well, especially with the long shots being boosted, finishing and stuff. In FIFA, you guys know how it is. Like we score those opportunities, but you have to work those high percentage strikes as much as possible, right? It's just kind of how it is when it comes to uh, scoring those opportunities. So as an SPC, it's more cool for sentiment, I think. It's not gonna be like a crazy game breaking card, but it's, it's cool for what it is, you know? It's cool for what it is. So yeah, lax and weak foot, dribbling sometimes a little bit weird because of the average body type with the balance. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because it's high medium, like, yeah, it's not like Korea, Korea high medium, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know what it is with Korea. Korea just positions himself like a monster. But uh, it's still pretty decent. Still pretty decent. Okay, guys, I'm going to go see what I could do with the other two cards today, okay? Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.